The outfit is about an English tailor who used to cut on London's world-famous Savile Row, who, after a personal tragedy, has ended up in Chicago in the 1950s, where he's opened up this little corner tailor shop, and the only folks around who can afford the fine clothes that he makes are a family of vicious gangsters. So the outfit is about um, this tailor's relationship with and increasing involvement in um, the lives of the gangsters for whom he tries to make beautiful clothes. When we started writing the script, something we were always fascinated by was the psychology of people who spend their entire lives perfecting the art of something so esoteric that most people cannot even tell they're experts at it. Um, someone who, someone like Leonard, played by Mark Rylance, someone who's such an expert at what he does, he makes these beautiful things and no one even, the people he makes them for don't even totally realize why they're so good. He's that good at it. He's, it's, there's a loneliness to that. Um, and there's something about the psychology of that, of someone who devotes his life to something that esoteric and that specific, and to be one of the best in the world at this extremely specific thing is such a fascinating psychology to me. And I think that's what initially drew me to the story in the first place. Um, before we had a story, before we knew there were gangsters, um, before we knew there were guns and blood and the kind of thriller we have here, we had this character of Leonard. It all started with this character. Jonathan and I just kept asking ourselves, what's the story here? What's the story? We love this character, but what's the story we want to build around this character? And that's when, after years of exploration, um, we were reading this one book about the history of Savile Row, and we found this single sentence that mentioned that the first bug in the history of the FBI, the first bug in FBI history, was planted inside a tailor shop in Chicago, Illinois, in 1956. And we instantly looked at each other and we said, oh, well, that's a movie. We loved the idea of the 50s of this period, like the last, the last gasp of this beautiful culture that happened before fashion took over. It was also a really interesting period in terms of the gangland history of the time. I mean, once we started digging, once Jonathan McLean and I started digging into the gangland history of 50s Chicago, it was instantly captivating to us because as America was going through profound changes, so was the underworld. The outfit is in many ways a chess match between all of these different characters. Um, and what's helped in that is there are not too many characters in this film. There's only seven speaking parts in the entire film. So every character gets quite a bit of screen time. Um, and more than that, every character gets quite a bit of listening time. As we're, as we're making the film, something we find a lot is that the story is not on the character who's speaking, it's on the character who's listening and trying to decide, am I being lied to or not? If I'm being lied to, do I need to kill this person? That's where the story is. And there's something so inherently cinematic about that. Um, you know, the, it's set in a small space with a small cast, but yet it feels so inherently cinematic to me because those looks between the characters, someone looking very closely at someone else from just inches away and saying, are you lying to me? Do I have to kill you now? You can't do that on stage in a piece of theater. You cannot get that close. Very early on in writing the script, um, Jonathan and I said to each other, what if the entire film takes place inside the tailor shop? What if we never leave? And like everything we do, it was an experiment. It was, let's do a draft where we never leave the shop. How does that feel? Um, and what we quickly found was that something that might seem constraining opened the world up to us. Um, because we knew that it would, Staying, what we found is that staying inside the shop is not a kind of narrative conceit, but rather it's staying with our main character. It's staying with Leonard. Leonard ne never leaves the shop, so neither do we. It just gets us inside his head. Um, we don't see anything he doesn't see. We don't hear anything he doesn't hear. We don't go anywhere he doesn't go. The whole story takes place over about 48 hours in the life of the shop, and he never leaves the shop the entire time we're there. So neither does our camera. 
neither is our story. What that means, I think, in a really exciting way is that when new characters enter, when Roy Boyle enters, when Violet LaFontaine enters, they're, they're coming in from another movie that has taken place off screen. Um, and we get to find fun ways of bringing that movie in with them to sort of showing their whole history, their whole story as they enter. Who is this person? Who is this person? Where have they been? Who have they murdered? You know, what's, what is the off screen war that is happening between these different crime families that we sort of see glimpses of as they enter the shop? The Outfit is a film about detail. It is a film about a character obsessed with detail. Leonard is obsessed with detail, so so is our camera, so so is our filmmaking process. Um, that means having an amazing tailor on set every day to correct every single detail of what would be on every shelf of every single movement of Leonard's hands. It means that Mark Rylance has spent a ton of time with a tailor training and studying and making sure every movement is exactly right um, so that our camera can get that close so that we can see how detailed the work is um, in a way because we can't the outfit does not have massive vistas of photographic space. We don't have big sunsets over the city skyline. We don't have, it's not, the outfit is not Lawrence of, the Arabia, Lawrence of Arabia. We don't have these kind of massive deserts. What we have is this extremely detailed work um, that Leonard performs. So it was really crucial to us to have an expert tailor on hand to work with a shop like Huntsman on making sure this place feels exactly real down to every last nook and cranny. The Outfit is a film about clothing, which means that the clothing of each character tells you a lot about them. And moreover, the clothing of some characters tells you about other characters, because Leonard, our main character, has made the suits that a lot of the other men in the film are wearing. So what they're wearing doesn't just tell us about them, it tells us something about Leonard. How good is he? This is how good he is. Um, that's why it was terribly important. And it's because the suits were so important and because the suits were built in the story of our film that we wanted to have Huntsman make them for us, that we wanted to, we are, say, we are saying in the story of the outfit that these suits are built by one of the best suit makers in the world. So the only way to achieve that is to have some of the best suit makers in the world, like we find at Huntsman, build them for us.